because this is, you know, I don't know. Um, I digress. Anyway, uh, do you, so you're in Chem 101. That's a pretty big class then, mm -hmm. right? Much yeah, larger <laughs> than your biology class. Okay. Are you in any other large classes or have you taken classes as big as this biology course before? Um, no, my other classes are, I mean, like not small, but my philosophy class is probably like 40 people. So mm -hmm. Chem and Bio are definitely my biggest ones. But um, my dual enrollment classes were pretty small just because I had to take like a few like night classes and like non-traditional ones so it wasn't a ton of students that wanted to sign up for those so mm -hmm. it's a brand new experience. Um, are any of your other classes this semester being taught using active learning as much as biology or any of the same kind of strategies? Not really, no. No. Have you, have you decided whether or not you have a preference for one way or the other when it comes to the way you learn? Um. I don't know. I feel like this is the first time I've really been exposed to like all the active learning strategies, but I think in order for me to like judge if I like it better, it would have to be like maybe a different subject for me. I don't know. I yeah. just like yeah. the the parts of bio that we're learning right now are not my favorite. Like, I <laughs> That's fair. I don't have a huge interest in like evolution and <laughs> phylums with fungi and stuff. So like <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it would have to be something I was more interested in to see if like they would get me as invested as like a traditional lecture class. Yeah. Okay. So when you think about though, like, do you think that your chemistry class would work as an active learning class? Mm, I don't know. I feel like, I mean, I have a great teacher, so it works pretty well for me as is. But I know like there are people that struggle in chem that would probably benefit a lot from like having a little like bubble around them instead of just like sitting. <laughs> A big like theater, so yeah. I don't know. I, I really think all this just depends on the type of person and learner that you are. That's true. Do you so that is that something someone told you exists, like a learning style, or um, is that something that you were taught before? Yeah, I mean, like we learned about like multiple intelligences and mm -hmm. stuff, and like, a few different classes in my high school. But oh, okay, um, okay. Um, what, what would you say that you are? Like, what kind of learner, if you had to label yourself? Um, probably, like, whichever one is, like, linguistic. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. I mean, like, I'm, I just, like, understand things very well through written communication. Good. Good. It's also kind of good that you had to think about what your answer would be there, because <laughs> sometimes if you're like, oh, I'm only hands-on, it's like, well... It can't always be hands on. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's good that that kind of makes it seem like you you know that you learn through multiple ways. Okay. Um so how do you feel about Dr. Fursley's teaching style? Um I love that she gets so excited about everything. Like <laughs> that really makes a difference. Um but sometimes I feel like she just like says a lot of stuff that like doesn't always match up with like what's on the slides mm -hmm. or like I don't know if I go back and review the PowerPoint I'm like what <laughs> like, I, don't, I, don't mm -hmm. I don't know but it's good that she like ties in personal experience too like I like that okay that's good so you would just maybe some of the things that she says you'd want more put on the slides so that you can follow up on it or yeah I mean just like more connection between like what she's saying what I'm reading I guess okay perfect sense. Um, okay, so there's obviously a lot of activities that happen in class. Are there any of them that you feel like are more beneficial for you? Like if you had to pick your favorite thing that you do in class? Um, I think just anything where we are like working with our table or our group members to like solve a problem mm -hmm. is really helpful. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes when we're just like watching a video, I don't really <laughs> love that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's fair. Um, so when you're doing those group activities with your table, what kind of role do you take on in those settings? Um, it depends on like what the topic is because if it's something that I feel like I have a background in and I like understand pretty well, I'll kind of like lead the conversation or like I don't know, just like take a strong like, leadership role, but mm -hmm. if I don't know what I'm talking about, I'll like let somebody else uh, <laughs> take, take charge. <laughs> okay. 
That's that's something I'm finding is such a fun transition for. I mean, I know I'm I'm the older end of this generation, but like, it's so fun because it seems like our grandparents, you were you were a leader or you were a follower, and now it's like so situational. Everyone says that. Everyone's like, well, it depends. I don't know. Like, yeah. so that's so much fun for me to be like, yes, progress. <laughs> this is good. Okay, so what kind of stuff do you do outside of class to learn the material for biology? Um. I don't know, that's kind of something that I've had a challenge with because, like, since I do feel like sometimes I go over the slides and I just, like, am not getting it. Um, I try and, like, re... Like, I take notes on the, like, outlines in class and then I try and rewrite them, like, by hand um, to kind of reinforce the material and stuff. Um, and then, like, for the last exam, I had a study group with the people from my table, so we all kind of, like, talked things through together and that was helpful. Was that your first study group for the semester? Mm-hmm. You feel like that was better for the test, or did it help you, you think? I mean, I'm not in the grade back yet, so <laughs> but yeah. I mean, I definitely, like, there were things that I didn't understand that they could explain to me, and vice versa, so, mm-hmm. I don't know, and also it just, like, motivated me to actually study and, like, focus on it. Yeah, yeah, so, like, with rewriting the notes and, um, come, you know, working along with the outline, is that something that's ongoing for you, or is it just, like, part of your studying right before the test? Um, it depends on how well I know the material. Like, mm-hmm. for this past unit, I was doing it, like, throughout the unit just because I mm-hmm. knew it was going to be a lot of memorization. Yeah. Um, but, like, the first unit. unit, it was just a way to study right before the test. Okay. So when you're doing that and when you're studying, how do you know when you know it? Like, what does it take for you to be like, ah, I'm good with this, I can move on? Um. If I, like, read back over the notes and I'm kind of, like, filling in things in my head before I, like, actually get to them on the page, Mm -hmm. if that makes sense, then I'm like, okay, I got this, I can skip over this part, but if I'm reading it and it's, like, not, like, coming in as new information, but I'm like, oh, yeah, like, I forgot about that, then I'll, like, get over (laughs) it a few times. Yeah, yeah. Um, How did you learn to study the way that you do? Like, the methods you're using, the techniques you're using, where did those come from? So, like I said, my high school would just, like, make things impossible to (laughs) prepare you for college. I took a government class my sophomore year that, like, they literally just made every test, like, impossible. And so I would have to, like, memorize the entire textbook, and I did the same thing, like, rewriting my outlines and stuff. I did, like, every outline by hand and, like, wrote out every single chapter. (laughs) Um, So that worked for me back then, so I think that was, like, a big part of it. Mm -hmm. Um... I don't know, for things that are more, like, mm, I don't want to say more, like, hard science. That's not the right word. But things that are more, like, there's one right answer. I'll mm-hmm. do, like, flashcards. Yeah. Like, for chem, it's easy to just, like, do, like, quizlets and flashcards. But I feel like bio is a little more interpretation and, like, explanation-based. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a pretty fair assessment, honestly. I mean, there are parts like Unit 3 where you just have to memorize stuff, yeah, but yeah. a lot of it's just trying to connect some dots. Um, so, like, when you think about, there's obviously a mandatory lab section with this class. When you compare what you're doing in lab and what you're doing in lecture, is there one environment or the other where you feel more comfortable or where you feel like you learn more? Um... Okay, well, personally, I hate the lab. (laughs) Um, But, like, I feel like this unit in particular, we really, like, connected the lab to, like, the lecture. Um, And I had to, like, pull in a lot of things that I learned in lab that I feel like we didn't touch on as much in lecture, like, Mm -hmm. for the test. Like, I feel like all the plant stuff I learned from lab and, like, not really from the class, which is fine. Like, it's good to, like, pull from both, but... I don't know. A lot of the things we do in lab, I just feel like they're kind of pointless. Okay. Is that <laughs> why you don't like it? That and the fact that, like, like we have to sit there for the whole three hours. And I don't know if this is, like, a personal preference, but my TA, like, even if we finish early, he doesn't want to let us out any type of early at all. So I'll just be like, let's talk about how to make a graph look nice for, like, this 15 minutes that we have left. Or, like... Um, he's a very interesting guy, but I don't know. Like the last lab, we went through like there were all these.